made a wish upon a star I could have a brand new car Got tired of wishing So I stole one Seventeen and knew it all My dreams were big but my thoughts were small So many roads somehow I chose the wrong one But Jesus and Mama always loved me Even when the devil took control Jesus and Mama always loved me This I know Hey YouTubers, brothers and sisters in Christ Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah. Our Lord and Savior was born to come onto this earth with a mission and a purpose. And that was to win us back to God. To offer us a way of redemption, salvation. To offer us eternal life. All we have to do is to hear, believe, repent, call upon His name to be your Lord and Savior. And He will forgive us of our sins because He nailed our sins to the cross. This is a time, it's a season, a reflection. But it shouldn't be just once a year. It shouldn't be twice a year. It should be every day. Every day we should be committed to our relationship with God through Christ. You know, for Christmas this year, I bought my wife an elliptical machine. But it's not just for her, it's for both of us. We both have a few pounds we need to shed off and stay physically fit. And, uh, you know, we're not spring chickens anymore. Our children are still young and we want to be around and active as they get older and they get more involved in activities, sports, whatever it is. So we are committed to staying in shape so that we can do whatever it is we need to do. But as we get closer to New Year's, I know a lot of people are going to be making New Year's resolutions, uh, commitments, changes, whatever they feel is important in their lives. Now, I remember one time I was about 14, my brother was 16, and some good friends of ours, uh, we sat down, we filled out a list of New Year's resolutions. We put them in envelopes, we sealed them, we even put the wax on it and, and uh, sealed it tight. One year later, we opened up those envelopes and we reflected back on the year and on our resolutions. And how many of those resolutions we actually were able to keep. And let me say it, it wasn't that many. Same thing with this elliptical machine. I've already had people saying that, well, in about three weeks, it'll all be over. You'll use it and then you'll stop. And next thing you know, it'll be collecting laundry and clothes, towels. It'll get covered over and you'll never use it again. Well, how many of us do the same thing? We make a resolution, a commitment to ourselves, but we don't keep it. You know, a commitment that we make to our Lord should be renewed every day. Every day in our prayers, every day in our uh, daily uh, alone time, our quiet time, when we sit down to read the Word, to talk with our Lord, to ask Him for uh, protection, for strength. It says in the Bible we should do these things daily. You know, if you look on my main, ch main channel page, you'll see up at the top it says, Let those who can hear, hear the Word of God. Well, that comes from out of Mark chapter 4. Twice in this chapter, Mark 4, our Lord says, let those who can hear, let him hear. 
And in, in the same text, he's talking about the seed. The seed of uh, our Lord, of the Word of God. You know, in the Old Testament, you can read re, uh, the imagery of the manna. Manna that our Lord gave daily. And they weren't supposed to save up a week's worth, a month's worth of manna. No, they were supposed to replenish every day, except on the Sabbath, when they held back a double portion. So they didn't have to collect on the Sabbath. But every day, they would go and collect the manna. Same thing we should be doing, is digging into the Word and reaffirming our commitment and our relationship to God. Whew! This thing just kicked up a gear on me, just say. So this season, don't let your reflection end. You know, how many people went to church on Christmas just because it's one of the two days of, out of the year that they, they go to church? Easter and Christmas. No, we should be having fellowship. We should reaffirm, recommit, our, recommit ourselves to our Lord to our relationship to our Lord and Savior daily. So as I'm pumping away here, i got to make it past three weeks so I can let all those people know that I am committed. You make a commitment, stick to your commitment. Let your yay be yay, your nay be nay. Brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Etonic. I'm working it out. How about you? Reaffirm your commitment to your Lord daily. Till next time, God bless. Amen. God bless. But Jesus and Mom always loved me. Even when the devil took control. Jesus and Mom always loved me. This I know